refraction, dispersion and scattering of light. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand about refraction and dispersion in a glass prism, when light passed through it, atmospheric refraction, and scattering of light. Before we move on to our current topic, let us understand the term refraction. The bending of light, as it passes from one substance to another, is known as refraction. Now our current topic is, refraction of light through a prism. First let us know, what is a prism? A prism is a transparent optical element, with flat, polished surfaces that refracts light. Prism consists of, two triangular bases, and three rectangular lateral surfaces. These surfaces are, inclined to each other. The angle, between the two lateral faces of prism, is called angle of the prism. To understand the path of light, through glass prism, let us do an experiment. To do this experiment, apparatus required a glass prism, paper sheet, and few drawing pins. Fix a sheet of white paper, on a drawing board using drawing pins. Place the prism on the sheet, and draw the outline, A, B, C of the prism on the sheet. Draw a straight line P on the sheet, in such a way that, it makes some angle with the face AB. Fix two pins on the line P, and mark them as P and Q. Now, observe the pins P and Q, through the other face AC. Fix two more pins, at points R and S, such that the pins at R, and S, and the pins at P and Q, lie on the same straight line. Remove the pins and the glass prism, and draw a straight line FF inverse, which passes through the points R, and S, and makes some angle with the face AC. Join points E and F. The straight line PQ, EF, and FF inverse, shows the path of the light ray. Here light is not a straight line, since it bends towards the base BC. Light bends because of refraction, that takes place at points E and F respectively, when it tries to enter and emerge from the prism. Draw perpendiculars, to the refracting surfaces AB, and AC of the prism, at points E, and F, respectively. Mark the angle of incidence, that is, angle of I, the angle of refraction, that is, angle of R, and the angle of emergence, that is, angle of E. Here, P is incident ray. EF is reflected ray. FF inverse is emerged, ray. Angle of A is angle of the prism. Angle of I is angle of incidence. Angle of R is angle of reflection. Angle of A is angle of emergence. Angle of D is angle of deviation. Here P is the incident ray, EF is the refracted ray, and FF inverse is the emerged ray. The light is entering from air, to glass at the surface AB. Here, the light ray, is bent toward the normal. At the surface AC, the light ray entered, from glass to air. Here, the light ray, is bent away from the normal. This refraction is because, of the refractive index of air is less than glass. The peculiar shape of the prism, makes the emergent ray bend, at an angle to the direction of the incident ray. This angle is called the angle of deviation. In this case angle of VGF equals angle of D, is the angle of deviation. Angle of PN equals angle of I, is the angle of incidence. Angle of MFF inverse equals angle of E, is the angle of emergence. If angle of BAC equals angle of E, the angle of prism is angle of I plus angle of E equals angle of A plus angle of D.